Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you the easiest, the fastest, and the most affordable way to extend your PC, your laptop, or your Mac computer so that it can display on multiple monitors to add USB ports to it and also to add an Ethernet port to it. And all this is without installing anything in the PC. I'll be achieving this using this small device from Mini Sapporo. This is a docking station that uses the Display Link technology and it needs only one USB-C 3.2 connection to your computer. Let me show you up close the ports on this device and I'll also be talking about its specifications very quickly. Let me show you the ports on the device now. This is USB-C PD, so this is to power the device. It comes provided with a power adapter and a USB-C cable to power it up. These here are three HDMI ports, so you can connect up to three monitors to this device. These first two can go up to 4K 30Hz, and this one can go up to Full HD 1080p 60Hz only. And this is a one gig Ethernet port. Now, on the back of the device, the first port is USB-C 3.2 Gen. It can go up to 10 gigabit per second. This one is USB-A 3.2 Gen also. It can go up to 10 gigabits per second. And these two are USB 2.0. So these are very convenient to connect, for instance, your webcam or your keyboard and your mouse. And on the side here, this is where you connect your computer with the provided USB-C cable that comes with this device. So now for my computer, it has only one VGA output. I'm gonna use it to connect one of the monitors and I'm gonna connect two monitors to these HDMI ports here. And I'm gonna show you how everything works. This is how I connected the device. First, this is the USB-C cable that should go into the computer. I didn't yet connect it because I need to install the driver first. This here is the keyboard, the mouse, this is my webcam. This is an empty USB-C port that I didn't use. And on the back of the device, you see here I have two HDMI cables connected. And these are the two monitors I'm going to use. And this is here the power delivery for the device. So this is a provided USB-C cable that comes with the USB-C adapter also with the device. So now I'm going to show you how to install the driver. And then I'm going to show you when I connect the device, how everything will work seamlessly. Along with the docking station, Mini Sapporo will provide you with this USB thumb drive. So it has the drivers on it. I'm going to connect it to my computer and I'm going to install the drivers and show you how to do this on my Windows 11 PC. So on your Windows 11 PC, go to this PC after you insert the USB drive and you find the USB drive here. Let's open it. You have this folder. And here you have your driver installation guide. So double click on it and we have Windows, so you have many drivers for Android, Mac OS and Windows. I have Windows 11 as I told you. And let's go under the folder here and let's double click the driver here. Here click on yes to continue the installation. And here simply click on install. So now it is installing the driver. So click on exit when it finishes. Now that the driver is installed on my PC, I'm going to connect the docking station with the USB-C cable to the USB-C 3.2 port on my PC. And you're going to notice how the display will go on the three screens here. And also I connected the keyboard and mouse here. And this is my webcam. Let me show you my webcam if I start it. So I'm going to start the camera application. And you notice how it is working. And this is me filming myself. So let me close it. So here for the displays, you notice that the mouse travels from this display to this one, and then it goes to this one. So it is not intuitive. Let me show you how to correct this. Right click on any display and then choose display settings here. And here you have the dispositions of the displays. So the first thing here you need to do is to identify what display is what number. So click on identify and you'll have a number on each display. So you have one, two, and three. So you need to put them in the following order. So put the three to the left. Let's click on apply. So what I've done here is that I mimicked the physical display disposition into the display settings. So we identify this as number three, one and two. So this way the mouse will travel freely between the screens. 
By the way, if you want to check out the stocking station from Mini Sapporo, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly and this way you'll not miss my future videos. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.